Hey crafty friends, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share with you today a small haul that I did. I purchased some items from Hobby Lobby yesterday. I thought I would get out of the house for a little while. Um, I just got done with my surgery on my hands. I had an endoscopic uh, carpal tunnel surgery. So that is done. I have small incisions right here. Hands are a little bruised, but other than that, I'm able to my hands and my fingers. Sometimes I'll, I'll get a jilt or a jolt in my hands where I might have moved them wrong and it's still in the process of healing. But anyway, let me get started. I went to Hobby Lobby and I found this um, options, creative options. Sorry for the glare. Hang on a second. There. And um, this here was $2.74 and I think it was, I can't remember how much it was on the other box, but it opens up and you got these uh, little dividers here. You can make your own size of what you need in the, uh, in the box. And then this is the other side. So I thought for $2.74, you cannot beat that. And that was um, in the scrapbook section near their storage. This was on an end cap is where I found this. So I got that, oops. And the next, um, I stopped by the Christmas section and I picked up some of these cute, a couple of these donuts. They're made of felt. And uh, everything right now is 40% off at Hobby Lobby. So I got this color and this color. So I thought those would look cute on my Christmas tree. And then next, here was some more ornaments that I picked up. I got this cute little house. I thought it was adorable. Um, and sometimes I leave these out. I have like a two tier tray and I need to shabby chic it up a little bit. And these are the colors that I have on there. Um, and it looks really cute. It's all has a little bunch of sweets on it and stuff. So I'll share that one day, um, what it looks like. Here is um, another one here. I should have got another one of these, but uh, it looks like a gingerbread cookie to me. So I thought this looks so real. And even if it, I think I'm gonna put these on my tree. This is gonna go on my tree. These will probably go on my tier tray because those can stay out. And this one too will go on my Christmas tree. So I think that is adorable. I love gingerbread and I love gingerbread men. Uh, my daughter-in-law makes some mean gingerbread. They are delicious and cutely decorated. I'll try to stick a photo um, of what she's uh, made as far as the gingerbread cookies. She's a very talented cookie maker. But here's another gingerbread, same thing. And then lastly on my little ornament, um, I got this cute little Christmas tree donut or donut Christmas tree. So, and the glitter is falling everywhere. So this will also probably stay on my uh, tiered, uh, my tiered tray. Next, I picked up some stamps, I mean uh, stickers. And these were 50% off. So I got those and I got more. Hang on, let me get them out. All right. And the next is I got these stickers. I had a whole bunch in my hands. So I thought I need to put them back because I don't need that many. I have some already and I don't need to keep adding to my collection. So I got these. These were half off. I picked this one up too. And I love these colors. So these are kind of like the colors that I'm going with in my craft room. I'm debating on which color I should paint it on, paint on the walls, if it should be like a light gray or very light pink. I'm very undecided. Because right now my house is pretty much gray that we had it repainted. So it's gone to like a gray, gray kind of greenish, light green. 
it's a weird color but it looks great just depending on how the light hits it but here's another set of stickers so I like these I thought they were very they'd be cute like on a small embellishment or even on a uh, rosette and I thought these girls would be cute on a rosette I picked up the small Sizzix sidekick plates I got them in the dark color so they'll be easy to find and to match with the black I mean, excuse me the pink um, sidekick that I spray painted in a previous video I don't know if I shared it on on my channel I think I did but anyway but this is what I got these weren't on sale this is normal price which was $3.99 and then I found these adorable tags. I like these tags to um, add to, like when I'm making jewelry for somebody, I'll attach these tags. Or even when I make a wreath, I'll attach these tags in it with a stamped uh, saying on it. So I got those. And then next, I got these on clearance. $1.24, normally $4.99. I thought these are an adorable set of beads there was only one box so I picked those up and I think well one more thing hang on a second all right in the next item I purchased I had been on the fence and on the fence about this and with me having surgery in my hands I thought why not just purchase this because it'd be it's not as heavy to lift so I ended up purchasing the Cricut Joy and um, it's out of the box but I just I haven't used it yet I tried it out as a sample on something just to kind of see how it worked and cut like butter cut like butter so this was a little um, gift to myself since my birthday is this Friday so I'm excited and uh, yeah so that is a purchase that I made and then after I purchased this, my husband says, well, what else do you want for your birthday? <sighs> I should have told him that, but oh well. Anyway, so I've got that, and I'm keeping it in my sidekick um, tote that I had. So it stays in there, so it's easy to pick up and move. Uh, next, I'm sorry, my camera's moving a lot. I'm upstairs here in my kitchen, so if I sound like I'm echoing, I'm in my kitchen. Next, um, I did a small haul on Amazon. I picked up this um, snaps and pliers set. It was like $27. Comes in this nice case, and it comes with all these little pieces in here. These are little clips. You know, your screwdriver, your little... Uh, I don't know what you want to call this but it pokes holes in your material or in your paper and then you pull this out if I can get it out my grip is not good right now um, it comes with all this so I thought that was a good deal to have a variety of different colors and I'll show you what I use those snaps on so that again that was Amazon had it the next day and this is, oh, I'll show you in a little bit. And this is also something I purchased off Alley. And this is what I made. When I saw these um, dies, I thought, wow, those are be adorable. So I picked this up. Let me get that out of the way of the light. And these are how they uh, turned out. Like this. So that is cute. They're about four and a half inches tall. But this is, I, I loved them. When I saw them, I thought these are adorable. So what I did was I put a little bit of um, chalk for their cheeks. And then I added some long lashes on them. And these are, this is what comes with the dye. So yeah, I got that. And then next, I have another die too that I purchased, but I can't, I'm not gonna go downstairs and get it. Or I got this um, wallet die. 
and it comes with these pieces here this here I'm sure everybody's seen this and these here so I got that and these are what the dies look like I mean how it turned out how cute is that so I got um, this and I added the snaps to them so there you go and then here's another one I made right here and this one I put the snap on I was kind of playing with them just to see what would be better um, to, when you add the snaps of course when you put them down this low it kind of bends the um, the paper because there's not a long neck on the snap it's on the snapping tool itself so but that's okay so this is what it looks like with it being put up high so I did those and then my next haul from Allie was this here I got these cute bows they are like a hard um, resin and they've got holes at the bottom and at the top so I thought those would be cute to add on a charm and these are the small um, they're kind of small so but uh, I think that is it that's all that I have for my haul I want to thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys are having a great day thanks uh, if you've subscribed to my channel appreciate that um, I hope you have a happy crafty day bye for now